lectures, courses are all available for free. As you can see over here, they have some great courses on computer science, a certification from Google themselves. You can click on this and they have provided free courses for you to learn about very different things. Python and you just want to build more projects in Python. I think a great place to do that would be this YouTube channel. It is actually a specialization that you can take up for free. Hey everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma and today I will be talking about the best free coding courses that you can take a look at if you are new to programming or if you want to learn anything like Python, you want to learn web development, you want to learn machine learning, you want to learn Android development, whatever it is that you want to learn. Today I'll be sharing with you some really great resources that you can take a look at to learn about all of these things. Now the courses I'll be talking about are going to be quick. These are not going to bore you. And number two, these courses will be a lot about learning by doing things, okay? That's really, really important. So let's take a look at all of these courses. I'll go one by one and make sure that you hit the like button. That would be really, really important. And now let's get started. The first course that you should be taking if you are getting into programming has to be CS50. 2020, this is the 2020 lectures of CS50 course. It's a basic course, Introduction to Computer Science. As you can see, you'll be learning about this language called a C. You will then be learning about arrays, algorithms, memory, data structures, Python, SQL, HTML, CSS. Then you'll be learning about Flask, some backend development. You'll learn about artificial intelligence. So basically this course will teach you about little bits of all the various fields in software development. And then you can choose which one is more interesting to you. And then you can go down that rabbit hole. So this is what you can do, right? Go through this whole course. It's going to be really interesting. The professor is really enthusiastic and you will definitely find yourself breezing through the whole course very quickly. After you've done this, let's say you want to learn about Python. Then you can take a look at this course called as Python for everybody specialization. It's a great course to teach you the basic fundamental concepts of Python. It is actually a specialization that you can take up for free. If you want to learn about how to get Coursera courses for free, you can take a look at this video, which talks about exactly how you can do that. So do take a look at that but uh, do take a look at this course as well. Now, if you want to learn more about Python and you just want to build more projects in Python, I think a great place to do that would be this YouTube channel called as TechBit Tim. Uh, he's a great friend of mine and he has made some of the best tutorials on Python for free for all of you on YouTube. This is a great resource. As you can see, his complete channel is about Python and how you can use Python to build different projects. And I think he has done an excellent job at this. Just go to the playlist and you can start going through all the different concepts. This is basically how I learned about Python, how I learned about machine learning, how I learned about all the different modules in Python. So you can take a look at this and now let's move on to the next part. So you've learned about Python. Now you want to go into machine learning. Then this is a course that you can take a look at machine learning and ng course. And this will basically teach you the basic concepts of machine learning, how to get started in machine learning. And this would be really good because this is the most popular course that people take in machine learning. So you can take a look at this. Once you have taken that course and you can go into computer vision and just creating CNNs. And for that, I think one great course is going to be this one called as the Stanford University CS231N course. And uh, this is just a great course, I think the way that this course is structured will help you understand all the basic concepts of like how to use images, how to use data and how to evaluate and make models out of that. So that is going to be really good for you. You can also take a look at this deep learning specialization on Coursera. Again, you can get this one for free without getting the certificate. So take a look at these courses right here. You can learn about neural networks. You can learn about improving neural, deep neural neural networks. You can learn about structuring them. You can learn about CNNs and you can just keep going down and down and learn about all of these basic concepts. Let's say you want to learn about web development. What is the one great course that you can take? And that would be this one right here. This is from Free Code Camp. It's a great place for you to get this certification. They are actually offering a free certification on web development. All you need to do is to start off with this, the responsive web design curriculum, and then you can keep going down and you can learn about all the things. One good part about this is that they have the videos, but they also have these interactive classes. So if I click on this, I can actually start building these things, right? So I can start coding and I can see the impact of whatever I'm coding right at the same place. So do take a look at this, their YouTube channel is also really good. I've talked about 
a detailed analysis of free code camp so you can take a look at that over here and you can learn more about how that works next if you want to learn about android development i have a friend of mine rahul pande who is a facebook software engineer at california and he has made this course on free code camp called as build and publish an app full course in kotlin so this can be a great course that you can take to learn about this particular concept right and he also has a great youtube channel where he talks a lot more about kotlin and android development in general so you can take a look at that if you're interested but then we have a certification from google themselves if you can click on this you can take a look at this android developer certification from google click on explore and then you can start learning about kotlin and how can you develop android apps using kotlin right so this can be a great way for you to learn about this and they also have some quizzes along the way by the way if you are still uh, like watching this video and enjoying just just type below i watched till the end or i'm still watching the video and just hit the like button and show your support share this video and yeah let's move on then you have flutter right if you want to learn flutter i asked my friends who are into android development and they recommended me this particular playlist net ninjas flutter tutorial for beginners to take a look at this if you are interested about this also if you want to learn about react native net ninja also has a playlist on that so react native you can learn from this exact channel right so you can take a look at this as well for developing android apps next you also have some really great courses available from mit mit has this thing called as ocw open courseware where they provide a lot of really informative content lectures courses are all available for free as you can see over here they have some great courses on computer science i have taken this one course on algorithms and i have just loved the whole way that the teacher explains the different concepts so you can take a look at this algorithms course you can take a look at this python course you can take a look at all of the different courses available over here by MIT. After that, you can take a look at edX. Now edX has basically partnered with a lot of schools and they have provided free courses for you to learn about very different things. For example, you have Stanford online over here. You can learn about computer science. You can learn about databases, learn about statistical learning. You can learn about algorithm design and many more things. As you can see, all of these are proper courses that you can go through and you can learn about computer science and the underlying concepts. Okay. So do take a look at this if you are interested. That was pretty much it. This was just a quick video I wanted to make to talk about all the various different places where you can learn to code for free, the ones that I have learned the most from. And with this, I just wanted to spread more and more awareness about the same. All right, that is pretty much it. I hope you got to learn something from this. Let me know in the comment section if you're still watching, just say I watched till the very end. And yeah, just, just share this video with your friends and I hope to see you in the next video. Let me know what other videos do you want me to make, right? I'm always confused. So yeah, you can follow me on Instagram as well. I will then see you again. Bye-bye.